Hello and welcome to The Point. I'm Wang Qi at CNC headquarters in Beijing. Each time we focus on Chinese leader Xi Jinping's important comments and remarks to help you keep updated with the most important trends in China. As the Communist Party of China, or the CPC, embraces its 98th birthday this year, one of its endeavors is worth looking at, that is, fighting corruption. Since the 19th CPC National Congress, the party says a sweeping victory has been won in the battle against corruption. And it has done a great job exercising full and strict governance over the party. Since Xi Jinping became party leader in 2012, he has made it a top priority to crack down on malpractice by party officials, particularly those losing faith in a party, taking bribes and living extravagant lifestyles. He once cited a Chinese proverb, to forge iron, one must be strong to underline the party's resolve to become corruption free. And the efforts are paying off. Nearly 70,000 officials were punished for violating frugality rules in the first 10 months of 2018. The CPC's campaign against extravagance and subpar work style has seen more than 260,000 officials punished from 2012 to 2017. And the number of officials disciplined more than tripled from 160,000 in 2012 to more than 500,000 in 2017. These data speak louder than anything else. Once thought to be just a gust of wind, the anti-corruption drive has proved to be an effective and deterrent force. The CPC thrives to build a system where officials do not dare, are not able, and are unwilling to be corrupt. For many times, President Xi has stressed the importance of strict party governance. During a panel discussion with delegates from Guizhou province at the 19th CPC National Congress, he said the drive should not be slackened or let up despite successful initial outcomes, and that the fight is not done. In his eyes, full and strict governance over the party should not be given up halfway. The CPC has shown not a single sign of stopping. She has repeatedly urged the 89 million member party to carry out self-reform. He noted, to have the courage to carry out self-reform and conduct strict self-governance, this is the most distinctive part of our party's character. Indeed, the reform has been part of the CPC's drive to enhance its leadership and long-term governance. And our show will be following up on this topic closely. And that wraps up this edition of The Point. We'll see you next time.